been a wild year and weather so far and when it comes to tornadoes in Illinois especially we've had uh, more than 100 tornadoes across the state that doubles what we normally see. This is a picture from the July 12th historic outbreak that occurred about a week ago. These are pictures are from Bob Wasak and you can follow him at Twitter at NILWX reports and this is a great picture of the twin tornadoes that touched down near Campton Hills one of about 13 tornadoes reported that day. So the National Weather Service went out and surveyed. We've got all the latest results from that survey. I'm going to share with you here in a second. But first I want to point out that during a typical year here, at least the average according to the Storm Prediction Center between 1993-2022, 55 tornadoes touched down across our state. And so far this year we've had 119 tornadoes. We lead the country in the number of tornadoes that have touched down so far this year. Now this this is preliminary and these reports might change and we might get a refined number, but still a very active year for tornadoes here for sure. Again, more than doubling what we typically see. And we got about a dozen of those tornadoes in just one day last week. The next state on the list in terms of tornadoes this year is Alabama, and we've had almost 30 more tornadoes than them. It's just remarkable. So this is the Storm Prediction Center storm reports from that day. Notice the cluster of kind of red dots there across northeast Illinois. Those are all the reports of tornadoes we saw. Initially, we thought there was going to be six or seven. It ended up being 13 when they went out and finally did their surveys. And we have the results from that. We actually had 13 tornadoes. Ten were EF0 strength. That means uh, 65 to 85 mile per hour winds. Uh, three were EF1 strength, 86 to 110 mile per hour winds. And the strongest tornado we saw was a tornado that started in Stickney, and that tornado had a maximum wind speed of about 110 miles per hour. There's one tornado that was on the ground for more than 11 miles. Is there a shift occurring in Tornado Alley? I've got a link to a report Emily Walls did when he, she interviewed uh, Victor Gensini, an associate professor of meteorology at NIU, who's talking about the fact that as we warm up the world, it's getting a little bit more arid in the central plains, and so maybe we're shifting Tornado Alley uh, to points a little bit further east than what we normally think of. In any event, here are all the storm reports for tornadoes across the whole country. So far this year, we've had a little bit more than 1,000 reports of tornadoes. And it seems like a lot that's actually pretty close to where we should be, pretty close to average. I'm going to show you a couple of lines here. The gray line is the average kind of a tally, running tally through the year of how many tornado reports we've got. And the red line is so far this year. So a little bit more than average. At this point, we should have about 1,071. And so far, we've had 1,115. Now, I call this an historic outbreak for a couple of reasons. It's the first time I can recall, and anybody at the National Weather Service can recall, from both major airports on the same day, Midway and O'Hare, we were able to see a tornado. It wasn't an official report in their observation, but people saw tornadoes from both the vantage point from O'Hare and also Midway. It's only the second time uh, the National Weather Service has issued a PDS warning, particularly dangerous situation tornado warning for portions of the city of Chicago. The last one was back in June 20th, 2021. A small portion of the city was involved in a PDS warning. That was for the Naperville to Woodridge tornado. Uh, this year's tornado warning that included much of the city was kind of the reverse. Just a small portion was about outside the city, but most of the warned area was in the city itself. Let's listen to some of these venues, some of these places that were included in the warning. Uh, both Brookfield Zoo, Lincoln Park Zoo, Soldier Field, Wrigley Field, Guaranteed Rate, uh, University of Illinois Chicago, the entire loop, uh, museum campus, and much more. Uh, thankfully, the storm weakened as approached because we saw in the text for this tornado that it was a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado. Luckily, it didn't do any harm in terms of in uh, injuries. There was just one reported injury from the whole event and a no death, so it could have been far, far worse. Let's hope things settle down when it comes to tornadoes the rest of this year. I'm meteorologist Tim McGill.